what made the difference for Hank? Uh, Hank's one of those players, I mean, he, he's done everything to earn it, you know, and uh, he's one of those players that came in, you know, early, uh, was able to learn, th learn the offense through spring ball, and uh, really the way and, and how quickly he learned it was surprising. You know, I haven't had many quarterbacks learn it as quickly, you know, as he did. And, um, and, and you know, Chase is obviously coming off a knee, and he's, um, you know, through spring trying to get back into it mentally and doing everything he can for that, that QB unit, and he's done a great job helping Hank, too. You know, he's a very selfless kid, and, um, you know, we'll be seeing him a lot through the year as well, I could, I could tell. You know, I mean, and Chase is one of those players that's still, you know, getting healthy and, and – Rolling. So, but Hank is a very special player, you know, and he's uh, he's got the ability to do it athletically. Uh, he's got the mind for the game, and then he's got some intangible things that you really it's tough to teach, you know, some with, some with the footwork stuff and being able to get the ball out in different arm angles. And uh, but he's been been pretty fun to watch. You obviously knew you were going to be in the situation with Brett going out. How much of a conversation was that with him during recruiting that? there's going to be an opportunity your, your first year on campus. Yeah, I think that was a big reason why Hank ended up choosing Boise State, because he saw that opportunity, you know, with Brett leaving and um, knew there was going to be competition. And obviously, he was very confident in, in what he can do, you know, on the field. And um, you know, again, I, I take my hat off to him. I mean, it's not an easy offense to learn. And uh, he came in and, and really drilled it with the film and the, and the different ways that he studies and uh, put himself in this position. You, when, you, you talk a lot about him and you know one of his strengths and one of Brett's strengths was preparation. So when you think about that with Hank, what does come to mind? Uh, same type of stuff, you know, and um, Hank's a little bit looser uh, personality-wise than Brett. Brett was very focused and like, you know, laser focused and, and very business-like, where Hank uh, has a little bit of that um, funny funniness to him and um, you know, the quirkiness and, and the guys like it. You know, the O-line uh, likes him for taking him in and, um, you know, where Brett was really serious. And, um, but it's a different type of uh, personality, but the same type of learning. Like, he's he really locked into the offense, knew what he needed to do, and, and the biggest part of that was making decisions and knowing what's going on on each play. What do you, when did you start get the, get the idea that, that Hank was going to be right there at the end of this race? When, when did he kind of start to did start to kind of click for him? Uh, I knew he was going to have a shot right off the bat in spring. Um, you know, the first few practices were were pretty good. You know, he was he was very prepared, um, and that's the, the right off the bat with the quarterback position at Boise State. The operation of everything is can be overwhelming, and, and when you finally get out there to practice for the first day or two, just everything that's going on it can be overwhelming. And Hank handled that really well. And I think part of it goes to his demeanor and just kind of the looseness of it. And it's never um, too overwhelming, I guess, for him, you know. And so he, he prepared well, and, and that leads to confidence, you know. But it was early on when you could tell Hank had some tools and the ability to be accurate and enough arm strength and, and the physicality of being able to go from high school into college and play. Oh, Hank's got really good feet, really good feet in the pocket. He can slide and, and – uh, you know, step up, he can take off kind of when he needs to, and um, he creates time very well. And I think that's one of the intangibles that he's got that you really can't teach a whole lot is just that feel in the pocket or, hey, I'm going to slide, I'm going to play that game with the backer, and, and now I'm either going to run or drop it over the top. Or He's just got kind of that game gamesmanship to him, um, which is fun to see.